Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof continues to be in the actual singing. I got a lot of requests for this, and you know, what is mask and how do I use it for singing? Well, uh, some definitions mean one thing to one person, it might be, mean something to someone else. So the whole idea is, you know, in old bel canto, which is the old opera style of singing, is that you're singing into a mask. Now, I want you to sort of picture this because that's why it's called mask. So have you ever seen what's called a thespian mask, which is, you know, the funny faces, hee, or, you know, right? you put these masks on, right? They use them at cocktail parties so you don't know who's who. Anyway, so it's singing into this mask, this, this idea that you're singing right to the front of your face. Well, what the problem with this is, there's two, there's a good and a, and a not so good about this. The first thing is, is that we don't just employ singing in the mask. I don't go, hey, 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 you know, I don't just force the sound into the front of my face, okay? So what we do first is, and I have a video that's coming out, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, this Thursday on open throat technique. Um, in fact, it's kind of interesting. I was one of the few guys that was even talking about this 10 years ago, and now it's becoming, you know, more of a in vogue conversation to have about, you know, singing. Anyway, but um, is that we develop good open throat technique first. Now, if you don't know what that is, check out my new video that's coming out on this. It should be out, like I said, I think on Thursday. I explain it, and I have I have a singing course called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else, and I walk you guys through this step by step on how to get this stuff. It's if we have it's the la a. La, la, and we have a real open throat approach to this first, and we build muscle memory with good, strong diaphragmatic support, etc. Then we can start to employ mask. La, you hear the difference? La. Now I'm not just elongating the vowel. That's not what I'm doing. I'm actually smiling. I'm pharyngeally spreading the sound and I'm smiling and I bring the sound at the front of my face. Instead of You hear the difference? So the higher up we go, what we find is that when I get up higher in my upper register, I can hit all these resonators inside my face and really open up the sound. But there is a caveat to this, which means you know um, something we have to consider, and that is that we don't want the sound to only come you know on New Year's Day. You know we don't want the not, we're not looking for the Stevie Wonder sound, right? What we want is. On New Year's Day, we want both the beautiful roundness of open throat technique first as our first line of defense, and then we want to roll the sound up into the head and across the roof of the mouth and out. So, on New Year's Day is what I said. I want you to sing like this. I want you to have this mask like mine. I'm not singing so nasally that it sounds annoying. Right? So we really want to have a, a warmth to the sound, bring the sound up into the head first, roll it down into the front of the face, into the mask, have it come across the roof of the mouth, and then we can open up the sound with resonance from the warmth that we've had, not just only. Now I did a I did a, a, a video on this, you know, uh, how to sing like your favorite singer, whatever. And there's a lot of great singers that use a lot of masks. And let me, I did this demonstration before, I'll do it again, and I'm gonna uh, hit a couple other artists here. You have guys like Dennis D. Young from Styx, you know. Um, I'm sailing away, set an open course for the virgin sea. And I've got to be free, free to face the life that's ahead of me. Well, I'm the captain, so climb aboard. We'll search for tomorrow on every shore, and we'll try for said we can to carry on, you know, and then all of a sudden, come 
sail away! And you can see something kill her now. It's going to go way up. Right? So he has this sweet thing on the back. I was out of pitch when I did that, but it still sounded good. Um, anyway, but you know, he has this real sweet spot that he's in, right? And he, he resides in that. Well, there's a lot of singers that do that. I, I know I keep beating this up over and over again, but Lou Graham, and I do this, I've done this a million times, I'm going to do it again. You know, say you will, say you won't, make up your mind this time. Say you do, say you don't, want to be mine. Right, so he has all this. But if you really listen to Lou, Lou actually brings this sound in behind, from behind. He drops down on the sound and he brings it to the front of the face. Very different than what Dennis DeYoung did. did. Now, if again, if, um, you know, if we do, like a fool, I went stay too long. And now I'm wondering if your love's still strong. Ooh, baby, here I am, signed, see, delivered, I'm yours. Like a Stevie thing, or a very superstitious, writings on the wall. You know, he's got a really frontal sound. I personally would see that, very superstitious. Writings on the wall. Thirteenth month of maybe. Ladder's about to fall. You know, if you believe, you know, and, he, and he's got this um, uh, really, really frontal sound. But some people are just kind of wired for that, right? Barbara Streisand was wired for that. Uh, Donna Summer was wired for that. Uh, Celine Dion is wired for that. So you know, you know, um, if you think of um, My Heart Will Go On or some of the songs. You know, you hear uh, all this nasality that's brought in the front of the face. It's kind of shrill and annoying, actually. Now, Donna Summer got away with it because she's Donna Summer. You know what I mean? And it, it, and there are certain people that wear it well. Um, but for the most part, that's not our first line of defense. Our first line of defense is getting through open throat technique first and then employing mask after. Now, I cover all of this in my singing course called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com. If you're interested, come check it out. Join my singers forums, man. We've got thousands and thousands of singers in there where you can go and we can um, just, you know, have these different ideas. We shoot them around. You can post videos, ask questions. It's free. Check it out. It's awesome. Uh, you can find me on, on, on Twitter. You can find me uh, certainly on Facebook, find me here on YouTube and a bunch of other forms of social media. Uh, and if you have questions, again, go into my singers forms. You can get all the information you need out of there to decide where you want to head with your voice. Thank you for joining me, Ken Temple Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. Peace out.